Hey guys, Steph again. Um, I forgot to mention my previous vlog uh, with regards to uh, certification, web design, web programming, and getting degrees, how that affects jobs, etc. You can look at the previous vlog. This video, what I want to talk about uh, very briefly, very briefly, is that uh, before you get into uh, student loan debt for, for a web programming or a web design degree, think long and hard about that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep emphasizing this because people don't know and it's, it's, it, it really bothers me, but they don't. When you get a student loan debt, this is debt that you cannot get rid of through bankruptcy. So remember, if you lock yourself into 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 or whatever in debt for student loans, remember that this debt is shackled to you for life. For life, you cannot get rid of the debt. You cannot go bankrupt. You know, if you start a business and you fail and you run up all this debt with the business, you can just go into bankruptcy and you're done. Which is a good thing, because otherwise, if if people uh, were afraid to go to debtor's prison as they did in the past, then nobody would be willing to start businesses, or very few, because it's just too dangerous, right? And uh, North America has shown, U.S. has shown, and Canada has shown that if you if you have a, a you allow bankruptcies, it really helps the economy in the end and overall. But anyway, when it comes to student loans, you cannot get rid of them through bankruptcy. So be very, 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 very careful about getting into student loan debt to get a degree. So I would argue. Uh, especially given the circumstances we are, the job situation we are, uh, we're in now, in North, forget, in, in the world really, in the Western world, um, and I think we're going to be going back into an economic downturn uh, once again. I'm recording this in uh, f fall of 2011, and that's pretty much uh, I think what's going to be happening. So you have to be very careful about that because you don't want to go to school rack up 10, 20 grand in debt, and then find you can't get work. But now you got this debt over your head, which you can't get rid of for life. You know, then you become a debt slave. And, and this is not an exaggeration. So, and people are in real, you know, ex-students, students are in a really bad situation as, as a result of this. So, if you can't afford to go to get a comp sci degree or, find, or some degree, you know, university degree, uh, related to web design or web programming that's relevant, as I discussed in the previous video, and um, you're uh, looking to get a job in the field, remember, I would say, listen, if you don't have the cash and you're not certain about any work, you don't have the cash, then do online courses. Yes, I'm talking in my book here. I, I, know, I know that, you know, but nonetheless, this is, you know, I do what I do because I think it's, it makes sense. Um, so anyway, if you don't have the cash, get uh, learn this stuff on your own rather. Don't go into debt. Because remember, 80% of jobs are derived from small businesses. And small businesses, in, generally speaking, couldn't give a rat's ass whether or not you have a degree. They, all want to, they just want to see skill. When I hire people, I don't care about degrees. I, it, 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 sometimes say, hey, look, I got a degree. I go, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. Because I know how that is. You know, I, I went to university. I know how that is. Uh, so, yeah. So if you have no money, you're thinking of going to debt to get a degree, don't do it. Like if I was, if I was your counselor, I'd say, no, don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Learn on your own. Get no debt. You know, get no debt, no debt. You can learn on your own for for very, very little money, and you you can you can put together the skill sets, and then you're going to be able to apply to 80% of the potential jobs out there. I'm not even talking about freelancing either. So I think no debt, access to 80% of the jobs is a very, very good ratio, a very good equation here, rather. Uh, whereas going into debt. To maybe get that, that, that job position, that 20% where, you know, a big business uh, or a government, that's just dumb. You know, especially consider this, federal, state, uh, provincial in Canada, 
All these governments, cities, they're going to be cutting employees. They're cutting employees now. They're cutting workers now for the first time in 30 years. And they're going to keep cutting for the next several years, at least. So if you think getting a job working for government is going to be, uh, uh, you know, the greatest thing ever, or working for a big business, think twice. Also, remember that big companies... Uh, Typically, they're not going to be less likely to hire PHP guys. They're going to be looking for .NET guys. They're going to be looking for Java guys. And remember, big businesses are the businesses that outsource, right? Whether you're in the U.S. and they outsource to India or whether the Indian companies are probably going to start outsourcing to, I don't know, Bangladesh or some other cheaper nations. Like I hear that China apparently is starting to outsource to the Philippines or Malaysia or something, if you can imagine that. Um, I don't know the, the details about that. I forget now. I don't study that particularly uh, too closely. But anyway, you get the idea. So remember, in today, especially in today's environment, where big companies, big businesses, uh, government are contracting, why would you go into debt and put yourself into debt slavery for that 20% that's contracting? Or if, I, if I were you, if it was me getting into this, I'd say, no, 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 no. I'm going to go do this on my own, have no debt, no monkey on my back, and I'm going to go after that 80% of the market, the small business market, and go out there, you know? Does that make sense to me? Anyway, I hope this is useful. A little bit of a rant, I suppose. Um, and, you know, I'm speaking to you not from a theoretical perspective here. You know, I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. Uh, I, well, 18, 20 years. Yeah, 18, 20 years. And I've been in different types of businesses, import, export, manufacturing, web services, web education now, online, offline. So I've got a pretty good perspective in that regard as far as the business owners, as far as the CEO is concerned. Um, and... Um, I forget my second point, so I guess I'll let you go. Anyway, hope I hope this was useful. Bye-bye.